Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing events, and amazing people. Today I'm joined by one of these amazing, wonderful people, Dr. Nancy Iankowitz, Director of Integrative and Holistic, Holistic. And Integrative. Holistic and in integrative healing. Yes. Welcome. It's very unwieldy. Thank <laughs> you for trying. <laughs> it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, absolutely. So um, let me know, what is involved with uh, what you do? Well, my goal is to try to help people understand that the human body is designed to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And I try to teach my patients how to tap into their own healing powers mm -hmm. so that they can learn how to interpret their brain as the CEO of their business, which is their body. So your mm -hmm. body is your business right. and your brain's the CEO. Right. And it communicates through whispers and shouts. Right. And one of my goals is to help people understand how to interpret those whispers before they become shouts. And I do this through a non-pharmaceutical um, and integrative way. I, I, does um, any of that make any sense? Of course it does. Of course it does. I worked as a scientist prior to my graduate work and as an RD for, for 25 years. Um, and, and as a nurse practitioner, which you have been um, uh, successfully, um, in terms of your incorporation of conventional medicine versus functional medicine, can you tell me um, how they differentiate and how you yes. have expounded to functional medicine? Yes. I was trained, trained, as a conventional medical provider within the realm of nursing and the nursing world. Mm -hmm. I, after a decade of practice, recognized that conventional medicine did not help me achieve the goals of getting to the root of problems. Right. People presented with symptoms, which were really signals from organ systems, and we were treating this with pills and and liquids, and this just seemed wrong to me. So spiritually, I separated from the conventional medical training that I have, not completely because there's definitely a place for conventional medical approaches in wellness and in healing. I, that's why I'm integrative. And so functional medicine, which was sort of coined by Dr. Jeffrey Bland, who was a psychiatrist and he is a psychiatrist. And by 1999, that spoke to my spirit, and I, intent, and I attended conventional and medical conferences and met different professionals who also sounded like they were channeling energy in a way that I wanted to do it too and educate people. Right. So functional medicine is systems-based, whereas conventional medicine is symptoms based. Interesting. So a headache is a symptom. Right. But if you come to me, right. I will say, is this from the neurological system, the musculoskeletal system? Right. Digestive system? You can get headaches from the digestive system. Sure. So I look for the root of the problem. Uh -huh. So I hope I'm answering the question. Most definitely. Most <laughs> definitely. I like your comment in terms of um, that our body has the ability to self-protect and self-heal. Yes. Can you uh, share yes. about that? Yes. When you Can cut I... your, if you have a cut on your arm, mm -hmm. you know, right. ultimately it's going to heal unless you right. infect it and rub it with dirt and right. all kinds of stuff. Right. If you just leave it alone or right. put a little bit of beeswax, <laughs> that's a different intervention for many skin issues, but... You can permit your body to heal itself. You won't grow back a finger if it's removed and not surgically repaired, but you will be able to mend different wounds on your body, muscle strains, sprains, gastrointestinal right. system. The GI tract heals within 24 hours while the cel cells turn over. So we are designed to heal. Right. When the body needs help, it gives you gas or bloating or a muscle twitch to tell you, oh, I need a certain, you know, supplement of some sort of mineral or I'm imbalanced. You go to a provider who can guide you by piecing together the puzzle of the symptoms and the flags so that you can get to the system. Right. And as an uh, uh, accredited nurse practitioner yes. for so, so many years, you see the differentiation in terms of a physician just prescribing a medication versus really being aware of um, where the origin came from in terms of the uh, origin of... That's how it started. Right. So in the 
19th century in the 18th, 19th century, we right. started in this country with a, a largely conventional medical approach. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me on dates particularly, but medicine and the study of medicine focused on how to cure through using pills and liquids and some behavioral um, interventions and, and lifestyle. In those days, the foods we had, and this will speak right to your background, the foods that we had were what we would call today as organic. We did not have the pesticides, the irritants that are nonsense syllables for the body. So this blend of all this information with the foods we have today, right. which are aggravating the total body system and multiple organ systems from neurological to gastrointestinal to the integumentary system. We have skin breakouts right. because of the foods that we're eating. Right. At the time when medicine was created in this country in the more conventional sense or recreated in the conventional sense, right. people were learning how to use pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. And then we had the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, we got into the 20th century. Fast forward to the end of the 20th century, we started to realize, wait a minute, there are integrative and functional ways of healing. So I don't think it's fair for us to say that all medical doctors, MDs, I'm not talking about naturopaths and doctors of osteopathy, because those people are embracing a more, and chiropractics, they embrace a more holistic approach. Mm -hmm. But the strict MD, medic, you know, medical education right. does teach people about how to address flags right. and symptoms right. with pills and liquids. Right. But those doctors, such as Dr. Andrew Weil or right. Dr. Mark Hyman, right. who are conventionally trained, right. have embraced integrative and functional medical approaches while uh -huh. they remain evidence-based right. and they still do embrace antibiotics and different, sure. they are more prudent with their use. Which is wonderful to hear. Yeah. Wonderful to it hear. It is. It's inspirational because there mm -hmm. are people who have an integrative, right. a blended approach. Right. And those are the people who I trust when I look up or I, I can call them or, well, I don't know Dr. Hyman or Dr. Um, Weil personally, but I tap into them as resources mm -hmm. online. Right. So it's not like goaskgrandma.com. Right. You can actually, if you have a question, this is what I tell my patients. If you have questions and you're, and for some reason I'm unavailable, right. you can Google it and write W E I L uh -huh. with that question or Mercola, M E R C O L A. Uh -huh. Right. Which is, which is one of here as an RD, I remember in my original, I've been in practice for 25 years and I work out of three offices. Mm -hmm. But my entire approach is the whole approach yes. as far as not only the diet recall or history, but the lab analysis as well as lifestyle, yeah. as well as exercise physiology to get the entire approach of a person because I, I really believe in biochemical individuality. We're each distinct and different and have a distinct fingerprint, which makes us very unique. That's what I loved about the interview when I had you on Marcy's World. <laughs> we got a chance to hear uh, to you. To talk about. <laughs> no, and, that, and it was fabulous. It was yeah, fabulous because yeah. I really love uh, the approach that you come from. And we really should collaborate on on, on more, you know, in more ways. And I think that we will. No, absolutely. <laughs> and it's very important. You have a, a beautiful, wonderful healing sense of yourself. And in the midst of all our problems with uh, drug addiction, opioid, uh, uh, since tw 2017, 319,000 victims of, of opioid. Um, Part of what I pride right. myself on, not to step on what you're saying, because right. it is so important and to just take that a step further. Part Absolutely. of what I pride myself on right. is never having written a controlled substance. I never, I have prescription pads. I have the right to prescribe. I have the DEA number. I have never had to write a prescription for a controlled substance. And I'm very proud of that. And I think that there is a there are so many resources out there from chiropractics to acupressure, acupuncture, sure. energy healing, sure. so many. And we are um, scientifically um, uh, researching all of these sure. and they are becoming more evidence-based. And that's really a thrill 
people like us. No, extremely, extremely important. Uh, I like to say beyond the chaos and rhetoric, we have to see the forest through the trees and we yes. have to look at the entire approach. So you have so much to share and you're so experienced and you have such a lovely way of presenting your expertise. Um, is there anything that you'd like to share with my viewers in terms of all you know? I mean, everybody's carrying a burden. Mm -hmm. We need to filter everything that we say mm -hmm. through. Is it is it kind? Is it necessary? Is it true? Mm -hmm. And we need to filter everything we hear through right. that so that we can keep perspective. Right. You and I have discussed at length right. um, how we meditate and relax. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important for us to recognize that although burdens may be different or may sound the same, everybody's carrying one. Mm -hmm. No, and, and what is one of your favorite quotes you've told? One of my favorite quotes is, Life is not about avoiding the storm. It's about learning how to dance in the rain by Vivian Green. Mm -hmm. I also have accepting responsibility, which is to decide not to decide is in itself a decision. And one of my favorites is hold fast to dreams. For if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. And that tells us to be true to our inner child and hug our wounded toddler and pay it forward with gratitude, all the blessings that we may or may not recognize on a daily basis we have, but if we wake up in the morning, that right there, and a deep breath. Oh, that's so absolutely enlightening and beautiful and wonderful. You're and that's so gracious. What you're, and that's what you're all about. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I want to thank you so much for thank taking so the time much, to be Linda. here, Dr. Nancy Iankowitz. It's a pleasure. All you do with holistic and integrative um, medicine and how you help so, so many that we need to. Thank you. Uh, need to to be aware of all that's out there and not just medicine based um right which and is, your generosity of spirit is very healing as well thank you for inviting me this uh, was really my pleasure and honor my my pleasure so remember when you eat well and select great foods and feel great it's something you want to do for the rest of your life remember balance and moderation is key thank you so much uh for joining us thank you so much to my crew have a great night